What's up, A gang? We are back at it again with another freaking video, y'all. So today is some abnormal shit going on. And I'm walking down a busy street with this camera up looking crazy. I'm pretty sure people are looking at me like I am insane. But I had to drop Lyndon's car off. What the fuck is you beeping your horn at me for? Don't start the dumb shit, man. Anyway, I don't know which one of these. You gotta press to get across the street. So anyway, I had to drive Lyndon's car off at the um, shop, I guess it was called, you would call it, because he had to have a safety inspection done in order for me to renew his license plates. Um, and they said it's gonna be about a 45 minute wait. So what am I gonna do in 45 minutes without a vehicle? I am gonna walk across this busy ass street to get myself some lunch by myself for the second time y'all y'all know i do not like go to restaurants and sit down and eat by myself that's just not something that i do but i did it last week and it wasn't so bad so we're gonna do it again this week this feels so freaking awkward y'all walking down this damn street with this damn phone in my hand busy ass street i could have just went to mcdonald's because it's right there it's closer but no, thank you. I'm gonna go to First Watch. It's literally right here. So the walk wasn't bad at all. I feel like I'm out of shape, which I shouldn't be, because I could be working out, y'all. But anyway, I'll be back once we make it to First Watch. made it to um back to the shop to pick linden's car up y'all it passed i mean yeah it passed the emissions but it failed the safety inspection because of one of his tires which the phone police trying to figure out what the hell they talking about about this tire because his tires look damn near brand new and he don't even drive often y'all linden works from home and he goes into the office maybe once a week if that so he doesn't drive often so yeah we're not knowing what the hell they talking about but when i tell y'all we have been trying to get Lyndon to get a new car for years this is the car that we purchased him for his 16th birthday well he got a little bit after his 16th birthday because Lyndon didn't get a driver's license right away he didn't get a permit right away um but after he got licensed we got the car for him so he was like he was a, a few months after it was a few months after he turned 16 when we got him this car. He's 21 now. And he'll be 22 in February. He still got this same damn car. We keep on trying to talk him into it. And he was like, ain't nothing wrong with my car. There's nothing wrong with the car. What am I What am I getting a new car for when there's nothing wrong with the one I have? The thing is that we don't want anything to become wrong with it. Okay? I'm not in the business to be repairing vehicles. Even though, you know, he got a job. He can afford to repair the vehicle um, if something does come up. But I'm just saying in general, I'm just not one of those people that like to have vehicles when it start having issues. Even a brand new car. If I get a brand new car and it start having issues, it gotta go. I don't care how new it is. It just, it turns me off, like all together. So anyway, um, I am in a parking lot right now sitting because I have a meeting at two o'clock and it is 2.27 and I don't have enough time to make it all the way home um to take this call and i don't want to be driving and trying to talk and stuff at the same time because uh, the meeting is kind of important in a good way 
um so yeah we're just sitting here waiting on this phone call and then we'll go home we're probably gonna go to the gym with lexi here in a little bit so i'll see y'all a little bit later we are back at home um i changed clothes because i'm going to the gym with lexi in a bit i just got on some nike um leggings lululemon top y'all got this from lululemon a while ago so i don't even know if you can find this anymore and then i have a pink uh lululemon sports bra up underneath up, up underneath i have an issue with cutting my sentences off because i'd be so in a rush to say what i'm getting ready to say because if i don't hurry up and say it i'm gonna forget what i'm about to say i don't know have y'all noticed that about me that i will cut i'll either cut my sentence short by one word or i cut my word short by a few letters there that's gotta be like a name to that like because i've been doing it my whole life and sometimes i'll be having to tell myself in my head like slow down you gonna get what you need to say out stop cutting words and stuff off but anyway as i was saying i have a pink lululemon uh sports bra on because i almost just did the sports bra with the pants with this little see-through top but i'm gonna just put this t-shirt on and the t-shirt is this angle is giving it's too small but then you turn around and it's giving oh it fits her a little bit it fits i think this is a size six if a six don't fit we got a problem because baby i ain't never been in no size six i am now because you know i didn't feel it out since i turned 40 but i'm not going over a size six okay so if this is too small technically it's just gonna be too small but anyway that's not even why we're here y'all we are finally home i'm about to cook some dinner before we go to the gym because lexi is with her dad doing her um track workout matter of fact do i want to start dinner now or do i want to wait until we come back from the gym i'm just making spaghetti nothing nothing fit nothing special don't get too excited um so y'all i don't know if y'all follow me on tiktok i'm pretty sure most of y'all do hi cairo bye cairo mm -hmm. um no like that way like remove yourself you want to smell it smell good no you spoke i sprayed it right here anyway child um most of y'all probably do follow me on tiktok tiktok y'all TikTok is doing a number on my views. I don't know what's going on with the algorithm over there, but everybody keep on saying they don't see me on their For You page no more. Like, my views are trash. Actually, my views have been trash here too lately. Um, so maybe I'm just boring now. Um, either way, I'm gonna keep going. Um, so I did a TikTok when I had purchased the, um, what is it? No, this is, oh the detergent from bath and body works um and i called them out and i was like this is not a uh sponsored video although i'm gonna need for them to hit me up blah 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 a few of y'all was in the comments like tagging them like give my girl a brand deal and i thank y'all for that because they actually sent me a bunch of stuff today i came home to two big ass boxes and it was all stuff i'm gonna show y'all i showed tiktok what I got already, but I, I'm, I'm gonna show y'all too, just in case I don't pop up on y'all for you page all over there on the TikTok. I'm just showing her too. So, so this is all the stuff that we got. We got what is this? Sun drenched linen. We got the detergent and the fragrance beads. Then we got the cozy cashmere with the fragrance beads. We got us some hand soap, coffee, and whiskey. I haven't smelled this yet, but that sounds interesting. And then we got the, come on, focus, focus. Oh, so my camera don't wanna focus. Alrighty then, sweater weather. Then we got kitchen limit. Why is it not focusing on nothing? focus focus okay maybe maybe my, there we go there we go anyway 
Then we got some body sprays. We got the pink obsessed. Y'all, this is really not focusing right now for some reason. Now don't piss me off. All right, I don't know why it's having a hard time focusing. But anyway, that's pink obsessed. That is old cherry. Cairo, quiet. That's oil cherry covered roses. What is this? Floral fantasy platinum. And then we got some um, candles. We got pumpkin pecan uh, waffles. Pumpkin apple. Now the pumpkin apple smells so good. Yeah, it's, it's, it smells like apple pie. Um, sweater weather and leaves. And then we got a new wallflower that looks like a little latte inside of a pumpkin mug another wallflower and then we got some refills we got the white pumpkin and the stress relief i also have some that i packed up that i'm gonna take to Aaliyah because i'm going to see her probably either on sunday or monday next monday um uh, so i just put I just put her together. A little care package of a few things that I got. So we are giving her the, what's that, coconut, coconut. Now why would you read coconut? Girl, they did not say coconut. Moonlight Goddess. So we got the scent beads and the detergent. And then we got her the champagne toast. So I'm gonna give that to her. Cause I already have champagne toast, so I'm just and she loves champagne toast. Um, so I'm gonna give that to her, and then this Viva Vanilla um, body spray because she is definitely a, a vanilla girl. That was one of the reasons why I gave her this one because it does say that it has um, golden vanilla scent in it, and she likes vanilla. So we're just gonna take those to her. So I just put those in a little box so I don't forget about them. So I thought that was super cool that um, Bath and Body Works sent me all of these cool little goodies. Um, but now I need them to go ahead and work out a little brand deal, you know, because I'm giving them free promo right now. <laughs> but we ain't gonna talk about it. Um, Cairo, give me. You and socks are gonna stress me out. Because what is your obsession with socks? Really? If y'all can see how he's looking at me right now, he is just the cutest thing. He got those big old brown eyes and he gives you that little sad look. He be like this. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Now he wants to be all up on me. Yeah, we already know you're a mama's boy. You are a mama's a boy. Look at your eyes. Look at your eyes. You're your mama's a boy. <sighs> so yeah, I'm about to figure out if I'm gonna cook right now or if I'm gonna wait until after we come from the gym. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Friday. A couple of days have passed. I think I dropped something on my shirt somewhere. Um, so if you see it, ignore it. I don't know why I just made it known. So now y'all are literally looking at the screen trying to figure out where I dropped something on my shirt. It probably dried up kind of quick. Cairo, chill out. Everything is not about you. So anyway, it's Friday. A couple of days have passed. I have been busy, 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 busy. Um, haven't been able to really pick the camera up, but it's okay. Cause it's better late than never. So anyway, it is the afternoon. It's probably like 11 something in the afternoon. I got up at like seven o'clock this morning. Y'all know I never wake up that early, but I got up at seven o'clock this morning to drop Linda's car off at the shop um, to get tires and brakes. Um, now, so Benley, Ben, Ben Benz, where are you going? Oh Lord, here he come. Here come Cairo trying to steal the, the show. Anyway, Bentley threw up 
in his cage. I don't know why. I don't think it was because if y'all seen that video on the TikTok where he had ate those Girl Scout cookies, the chocolate Girl Scout cookies, um, that was days and days and days ago. So he did not throw up because of that. One thing about Bentley, Bentley's stomach is made of steel, okay? This man eats out the trash daily. He steals stuff off the counter, which we need to break him from that. I need to work on breaking him from that because why are you stealing our food off the counter, okay? Um, Bentley has eaten a bunch of stuff that he's not supposed to eat. I'm almost 100% sure Bentley has had grapes before. Um, I'm almost 100% sure he's had chocolate before in the past. But the only reason why I was scared about the Girl Scout cookies is because it was a lot of it. And I was just like, hold on. I don't think you're supposed to eat that much. But they said that it's not real, real chocolate. So it shouldn't bother him. Y'all, it didn't do nothing. It didn't make him poop. It didn't make him puke. It didn't, it didn't. He was fine. Um, Cairo, leave him alone. Because he's going to snap on you again. He didn't already snap on you once today. You just don't learn your lesson. Um, so anyway, he threw up in his cage. So I'm not sure why he threw up in his cage yesterday. But anytime he throws up in his cage, he gets it on himself and then he smells like puke. So I said all of that to say that Billy is getting a bath today. And since Billy, oh, he heard me, y'all. He looked, he said. So since Billy is getting a bath today, I might as well give Cairo a nice little washy wash because it's been about two weeks since he's been to the groomer so it's about that time for a bath so we are giving the dolls a bath i just cleaned their crates i just mopped their crates out like the the, the um the plastic part the little part that's on the that they lay on i just cleaned that i went up there and mopped that all out so it's nice and clean because i mean what's the point of giving them baths and just putting them back in a crate with the filth that was on their fur before they had the bath that makes no sense. Y'all, they don't spend a lot of time in their crates, especially Bentley. Bentley hardly ever get in his crate. Um, but since he had that Girl Scout cookies and I wasn't sure what his body was going to do, I put him in there. And then for the last couple of days, I've had trash, like for two days. I've had a trash bag sitting at the trash can that needs to go out. And anytime I do that, he gets in it. So when I went to sleep, last night i put him in his crate because i didn't have time to wake up in the morning to a bunch of trash everywhere yeah so anyway we are about to give them some baths and then i don't know what else i got going today i'm probably going to tidy up it's, it's today it's time for me to uh vacuum <clears throat> sweep mop floors y'all yeah, know i mop my floors a couple of times a week because we do have pets um and they are outside pottying and i'm not washing their feet every time they come in the door i'm just not i'm too lazy for that shit i'm not that clean for that like i'm a clean person but i ain't that damn clean to where i'm gonna be wiping these paws off every time they come in the house y'all know how many times they go outside a day and y'all want me to stand there at that door away from them to come in so i can rinse rinse they damn paws off i'm not doing that shit i'm just i'm sorry i'm just not doing it but I will mop uh, multiple times a week. I'm just not going to do it, Cairo. Do you want your paws? Look how big he's gotten. Do you want... Oh, let me see if the bottom of your paws still red. Nope, they're not red no more. They was red because he went to the track yesterday with us. You are huge. And y'all, he's not even standing straight, straight up. He's still kind of like doing this. You are a handsome boy, though. You are just too big, but you are a handsome boy. You are just so handsome with those big brown eyes. You big old brown eyes. Yes. Are you mama's a boy? Are you mama? Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Y'all know that trend where it's like, put your dog face in your face, and if they lick you, if they don't lick you, that means they are uh, African American. My, I, I must have two Caucasian dogs because maybe any chance they get, they gonna try it. They will try it. They might not get successful, be successful, but they're definitely gonna try it. So anyway, let me get ready to get, give them their baths because this is a task. It's gonna take me a while. I'm gonna be completely wet. I need to tie my hair up. Let's get to work. 
Y'all, this fool to jump in there. I turned the water on. He jumped in there. Just y'all, he he has had water this morning. His obsession with water, I don't understand. But he jumped his ass in there. Collar still on and everything. I ain't had a chance to go get the blow dryer to go get the shampoo. He and he not even caring that the water is just. Child, this dog is gonna stress me the hell out. You gonna stress me out? Cause why would you jump in there like that? We got the dogs all cleaned up or whatever. Cairo, sit back down. 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 He looking at me like, girl, what? Cairo, I'm not playing. Down. I, I, I just want one dog that I can bench and parent. Just one. That's all I ask for, just one. So anyway, we are making some calm bread. I got some chicken thighs in the oven. Um, put a little sugar in, in the cornbread mix. Yes, we are. Just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? None, none too serious. Um, I got some chicken thighs, some rice, um, some green beans, and then we're gonna make Cairo sit back down this cornbread. Um, yes, I, I do still have to read the directions, even though I make this way more than what I should. Cairo, go sit down. Why do I always gotta have hard-headed ass dogs? Why? 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 Don't you come. Don't you follow me. Go sit down. All right, where's your collar at? Okay, I thought so. You don't want that collar. Oh, I almost hit myself in the face. So we need, one third cup of milk. Is that a one third? It is a one third. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. That's one third, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Then we need an egg. two things at once um but that's okay so we're gonna clean eventually it's just when we was as we was cooking and then we're gonna mix it I'm doing. 
don't know if I'm getting that. Billionaire over there sitting like he waiting on Mrs. Wright. We're gonna put him in his two little pans. Y'all, I actually had bought these pans to make Cairo um birthday cake in. But it's a regular, they're regular pans. It's not like it's only for dog food. I mean, yeah, dog like to make dog stuff. It's like it's a regular pan. Plus the dog food that I'm dog cake that I made him. It was, <coughs> it was made with regular food ingredients. So, I mean, and I cleaned it too. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, some of y'all be like, mm, she used that and she had made that dog cake in there. It was regular human ingredients. And I literally cleaned it afterwards. So we're gonna use this for our cornbread. Y'all, and it be coming out like perfect in these little pans. And I just flip it over onto a plate and cut it. Be perfect. Perfect. Where are all my damn spoons? We can even keep spoons in this house. Somebody eat them. Put like put a sauce or something on them um i don't know what sauce yet maybe i don't know haven't made my mind up yet see this is why you're supposed to clean up as you go because now i don't have no room to do nothing everything is put away let me wash this off right quick this mandarin sauce teriyaki sauce from um, what is it called? Panda Express. And I'm interested to see how it's gonna taste on this chicken. So I don't wanna pour it on all of it right away just in case it don't taste that good. So I'm gonna just do a little piece. First. Where did my piece go? Oh, here it is. Chicken. And then we're gonna drizzle some of this sauce on top. Bentley and Cairo. Oh, that's kind of thick. I don't think I was expecting it to be thick like that. It was kind of thick. Move it around. Boom, boom, boom. And we're gonna taste it. I like it. Mm-hmm. I like that. Wait for the cornbread to finish. And I'm gonna clean up some of my mesh and I'll be back. My friend Sherry, she go to college. And I said, her car was not working. Her parents were driving her to and from school. He sat here with a straight face and said, uh-uh, if it was me, she would have been she would have still been up at that mug. If it was you, you was gonna leave him up there. Yep. You was a damn lie. Why so you was a damn lie. Yep. You ain't finna leave nobody no damn. Not not one of these kids of yours, you not. 
Yeah. You see how your daddy be back? Even if my car wasn't broke down. Right. Boy, please. Gas, yes, I'm on 5%. Anyway, y'all, it is Saturday around 1. Yeah. Hey, stop on my seatbelt on. It's 1.46 on Saturday. And we are just, well, the fun police been up and at it. I'm just now getting dressed and we're getting out the house. Where are we going? We don't know. First stop, I'm going to Starbucks to get a drink because. It's Saturday and it's just gonna be my treat for today. The and then we're gonna see what else we gotta do. I was planning on going to Ulta. Mm -hmm. Um huh? None, I'm talking to myself. What you say to yourself? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Don't be scared to repeat yourself. Because last time I checked, I said I was going to Starbucks. And you get up out the bed, start putting your damn clothes on. Hmm. As if you were invited. He was not invited, y'all. He invited himself. Yeah. So if we go to Ulta, we going to Ulta. Hmm. We might even throw Target in there, too. Hmm. And while you at it, you can feed me some lunch. Shit. Take me back home with all that. You don't want to take me to lunch after I get done what I'm done. This fool got me. a tent in the back of that nigga probably hiding in that motherfucker. Yeah, our our damn neighbor be having some some wild shit going on at his house. So they don't catch his ass. So you think he'll hide in the tent? Yeah. At least the house they can't get in. Uh, hey. They can get him in the tent. You know, tell him. Stupid motherfucker. They don't be having no rhyme or reason to these. Anyway, so yeah, we're just out and about. <laughs> we're gonna see what today takes us. This is what being parents of adults look like. We just out. We ain't got nobody to look after. I mean, we do, but we don't. You know, y'all know what I mean. We just got to the mall. I got my, um, my Starbucks drink. It wasn't that good, but I think I just wanted some a coffee, like some caffeine. Even though it's gonna give me a burst of energy and then I'm gonna be crashed. <sighs> people with the people act like they ain't never seen an influencer before. I mean, I guess in this, in St. Louis, like it's not many of us. I really don't even know no other YouTubers in St. Louis. Y'all know some other YouTubers in St. Louis? Because if y'all do, please let me know. Because I don't know any. Especially any that's like around my age. I don't know any. But I'm pretty sure if there are any, they're not around my age. But if it is, I would like to know about them so that we can link up and collab or something. So anyway, we came to the mall. To the little outdoor mall i forgot what this is called uh because i wanted to go into the nike store to see about something for lexi everybody can bag that right here i need a new pan i need to go into that one little store i mean a pot not a pan i need a pot like a big pot i got that old raggedy walmart pot I keep having to use.
we went into two different malls. Um, we we actually, oh, I forgot to lock the damn door. My bad. So we went to two different malls. I got some shoes, just some regular little Nikes. I'll show y'all later. And then I got a new um, uh, pot, because I need a pot. I, I just have like a little cheap little pot that I've been cooking with, but I need a new one. So I got a pot. Then we went to Frontenac. Um, Fun Please got a few things for himself, but we are hungry. We have not eaten today at all, neither one of us. So we are at Brick Tops. We're at Brick Tops. Somebody in the comments said they had good meatloaf. I don't remember who it was, but whoever it was, I saw your comment. So we came on up in here to see what it's all about because this man right here would eat meatloaf from anywhere, child. Some of the meatloaf he he eat be a little, little skeptical, okay? Uh, so we about to see what they about. This is probably like my third time being here. Um, you go ahead, here I come. This is probably like my third time being here, but I think this is the fun police first time being here. So yeah, we just gonna see what they what they all about. So be right back. was really good um i end up getting a meatloaf too and i never order meatloaf when we go to a restaurant never i i do eat meatloaf but i never order it and i ordered the meatloaf and it was good um but but baby that shrimp i don't even remember what that shrimp was called but that shrimp was fire that was it was so good we ordered one it was an appetizer we ordered one ate it and then order another, another one. Them things was $14 a whop. And we ordered two, okay? That's how good it was. But I had a salad, the salad was like super fresh. It had like real bacon in it, cucumbers, croutons, like the salad was on point. The food just in general was good. The bread was good. I don't know, maybe if it, I was maybe, might, I might've just been hungry, but I think it was good. Um, then we stopped off at Crumble Cookie, and we got a few little cookies, if y'all can see. I am, this is the one I got right there. That's the caramel apple, and then we got three chocolate chip, and then whatever these little cakes are called. I forget what they're called. Translate. Tra trans, who? Translate. Translate. Child, it's a cake. It's a cake. Um, so anyway, we went to Nike and I just got me Cairo. Can I show it to him or you you finna show it to him? Jesus, go, go. Why am I always talking to him? Anyway, I just went and got me a basic pair of um Nikes. Because y'all, I have been like I okay, so for those who don't know. I used to work at Nike for like three years. Um, Cairo, leave me alone. What? Go. Can you leave me alone? Jesus, he want to be in my skin so bad. But anyway, I worked at Nike like, y'all Y'all can't even see him, but he he's literally uh, being annoying. Anyway, I worked at Nike for like three years and the time that I worked there, we had accumulated so much stuff y'all like uh leggings sports bras t-shirts shoes the whole nine but then after i started working there we really stopped buying a lot of nike stuff and we transitioned over to adidas because i am an adidas girl because i just feel like adidas shoes are just more comfortable so like the yeezys the human race um things like that so i was buying a lot of adidas apparel to match the adidas shoes that i had so now that i'm getting a lot more nike stuff again i don't really have stop it stop it right now 
Stop right now. Get his head out your mouth now. Billy is acting like Max the cat. I mean, Billy and Cairo. Hey, stop. Y'all gonna get whooped. Y'all seen Max the cat on TikTok? That's what Billy be acting like. Um. So anyway. I'm wearing more Nike stuff again, and I just did not have like any Nike shoes to wear with my Nike oh, stuff. Right. So I found these little cute shoes. Oh, I don't know what are these called. These are called. Oh, he has no climb to climb on. Yeah, his his thing is outside. He threw up on it. These are Initiator, the Nike Initiator. <laughs> they are an eight and a half. So my true size is an eight and a half. However, the way that I like my shoes to fit my feet, I always get a nine and I have been buying nines for as long as I can remember, but they didn't have any nines in these. So I hope they, I mean, they fit and they feel good, but hopefully like after wearing them for some time, they don't start aggravating me because I don't like how it feels when my, um, when I feel like my toes can't do this and this in my shoe. So we'll see. But they're cute. You like these legs? Yeah, they're cute. Ain't they? They're, they're eight and a half. So, yeah. And then sometimes I do take the, if I can get it, the soles out of my shoes to give me a little more toe room. Because I just feel like the toe box in most sneakers just don't be big enough. Oh, that feels real good without the. Real good? That feels real good without the um, without the what do you call it thing? They gave me a lot more of them. So I got these. Oh, um, is your company here? My company. <laughs> oh my god! I got a little top from Lululemon. The phone police got him a whole outfit, y'all. He just went outside. I mean, did they just go outside? Yeah, they did just go outside. Camera is on, by the way. FYI, <laughs> I don't like the camera being on, and people don't know. Um, yeah, y'all see Billy? He is. He's sitting there begging Vine to take him home with him. He said the people over here are abusing me. They don't feed me. No one gives me love. That's what he's saying right now. He can have you. <laughs> he gonna bring you right back. This <laughs> after you get over there after the damn food. Billy, that's enough. Billy. That's why you growling me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bipolar. Ah, ah, ah. That's enough. That's that Billy. I'm gonna go get daddy. I'm telling. Back to my shirt that I got from Lululemon. It was on it was on sale for 50 bucks. It's a little long sleeve crop. I didn't try it on, but I bought it a size too big just to make sure because y'all know I'm a little thick out here in these streets these days. Yeah, I got a new pot. This is the best purchase of the day. Oh, and what's this? It's the little thing that you sit on the counter and you can sit like hot stuff on it because we have quartz countertops and you can't put like I think stuff over 400 degrees or something can, I don't know if it'll, it'll mess it up or whatever. I don't know. So I got that. 
I'm gonna show y'all the pan, the pot that I have been cooking with. And it ain't nothing wrong with it for real, for real. It's a little messed up. It's kind of, somebody dropped it so the top is a little bent, bent in. But this came from like either Walmart or Target like 10 years ago, for real. And that's what I've been cooking with. So, this is gonna replace it. I don't know how to say this company name. I think it's the crew set, but all of my other uh, pans are from the same company. I just didn't have a pot from this company. I'm gonna show y'all what color I got. Drum roll, please. Hold on, how to get it out of here? How the hell do I get it out of here? It's gray. It's not white. I know y'all was like, oh, it's white. It's not white. It's like a super light gray color. It's cute. Is this like the same size, I wonder? That should be like the same size, right? This is, let me see. This is eight quarts. And it was like right at a hundred bucks or a hundred and four dollars, something like that. It was on sale too. Like it had um a little um discount like was it like 30 percent off it was like 30 percent off or something like that so mm -hmm. you could tell you old when you get excited for shit like this i should not be this excited for new pies do i take this off yeah it got the name right here but it's like a little it's a decal or sticker yeah that comes off also the reason why I continue to buy cookware from this company is because of the warranty now this one the warranty is only for five years but on my other pans that I have I want to say it's a lifetime it's either a lifetime warranty or whatever the warranty is is for a long time and I recently just put in a um claim on one of my pans, I'll show y'all. So I had this one first, and it started like the this part started kind of scratching up a little bit, and I started noticing that the um the nine stick surface wasn't nine sticking anymore. So I put a claim in. I need to clean this. Y'all know how I'm supposed to clean this. Hmm. But um, I put a claim in, and within a week, they sent me a whole new one. Brand spank new, with no problem. So, that's why I don't forever shop with them. <sighs> but anyway, that's all the stuff I got today. Um, I'm not about to do nothing else. Lexi has company, so I am about to go into my office and edit. Um, the vlog that y'all will be seeing tomorrow, well, by the time y'all see this, y'all would have seen that video this past Sunday. I'm about to edit that video. So, yeah. I'll be back. Where's the light that's out the window? I don't know. Uh, you got his key? Yeah, I'm finna let his trunk all right quick. Oh. Hey y'all, it is Sunday evening. It's like around 4. It's 4.37 on Sunday. Um, been up for a little while. Just now getting out the house. Y'all, I put these shoes on that I bought yesterday at the store. And I love them so much now that I'm wearing them. I'm going to show y'all. I showed y'all yesterday. But like, look how cute they are on my feet. Ain't they so cute? Y'all, I have been needing to buy of her Nikes for so long. And these were the cutest ones I can freaking find. But anyway, so y'all remember the whole situation about us and the neighbor uh, being on our property or whatever. So today, the fun police had had enough. Because he just be playing games. Like, you know, we we've been trying to figure this situation out for two and a half years now right and every time we talk to him the neighbor about it 
he just keeps giving us the runaround. It's almost like he's trying to like prolong the whole situation so that because I think after a, so, a certain amount of years, he can basically like not be forced to move off the property. I forget what it's called, but I'm pretty sure somebody on here know the legal term. Um, so anyway, the fun police had met up with him today to kind of like finally come up with a solution to the problem. Well, he's wanting us to agree to a land swap, which is basically means that we let him keep the land that he's on and we take some of his land. The problem that I have with that option is that means we're going to have to take some of his land in the back of his house, like some of the land going, you know, what I'm saying in the back of his house. I don't want I don't want none of the land over towards the back of your house. I want the land next to my house where it's supposed to be. Like that's the land that I want. I don't want land that's going that's that's um crossing over into your backyard. Like why why would I want that? Plus it's kind of a principle that you don't do stuff and think there ain't going to be no consequences. When you do things like pouring the driveway, putting a new garage up, things of that sort, you have to have a stake survey. You have to know where your property is so that you're not on someone else's property. You made the conscious decision at your grown ass, old ass age to, to lay a driveway and put a shed on property without having a proper survey done. It, 20 years ago, I knew that. And I was in my, was I in my 20s 20 years ago? I'm old. I was in my 20s 20 years ago. I might not want to say that no more because that didn't sound that didn't sound good coming out. In my head, it did, but when it came out my mouth, I was like, damn. I was in my 20s 20 years ago. But anyway, I knew that shit 20 years ago and I was in my 20s. This man gotta be in his upper 50s, early 60s. He should know better. He, sh he should definitely know better. Plus, his 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 old disrespectful ass kids. That's a whole that's a whole different topic. Now they got their friends living over here, and and everybody driving them 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 big country pickup trucks. Y'all know what y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all picking up what I'm putting down. Them type of trucks. So right now I'm facing their driveway. Right now I ain't gonna put it on camera. Um, but I'm facing their driveway right now, and it's four of them trucks parked in their driveway four of them them, them them raggedy little pickup trucks that you know who be driving them type of trucks so anyway we leave the neighborhood the other day mind y'all the 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 road that leads into our neighborhood only one car can fit down at a time it's it's crazy but i mean it is what it is so you know we have little uh you know we have driveways that have like pull-offs to where somebody coming down the road you can pull off, you know, kind of pull off on the end of the driveway, let them pass, and you can keep going. And it's just kind of one of those things, like, you just have to you just have to be polite and be a good neighbor. Uh, we haven't had any issues with anybody except for him and his damn kids. So, we leave in the neighborhood, and it's there's a lake, well, a pond, a big-ass pond in the neighborhood. And we're driving, and we're, like, where the pond is. Of course, it's a fucking, it's water. There's nowhere for us to pull off at. There's water. His son can see us. And instead of his son pulling off to let us go by, he kept on coming towards us, knowing damn well ain't nowhere we can go. So the fun police was driving my car, and, and, and the fun police stopped and was like, back your ass up. So he sits there for a couple of seconds, like he finna make us bag up. No, we already halfway down. You you had you had an opportunity to pull off. We didn't. So he bags up, and as we're passing him, he he goes off into the the, the grass next to us, speeding, going, got dirt flying everywhere, cause he pissed off because we'd have made his ass bag up. So that's that, that's his that's his kids. And the man is literally into it with everybody in this neighborhood, with the exception of maybe one person. But that's that's a different story in itself. And then he trying to he trying to sue another one of our neighbors because the neighbor hit him with the car, as he should. Hit him with the damn mirror. The mirror on, on his truck. Yeah. 
you know, with the mirror, because he fucking walking in the street. And Acting he, like he don't want to move. Nah, he didn't hit him on like that. It ain't like he knocked him down and he hurt him and have. all that shit. He, he just trying have. to act. He, he don't want to move. Now he trying to sue him for hitting him with his little mirror. But, um, so listen, so when, oh shit, the damn sun is out today. So the phone police have reached out to him. This was like a few months ago. Cause we've been told y'all we've been going back and forth for two for over two years now trying to get this settled, right? So the fit fun police reached out. Got something in my mouth. Fun police reached out and he told the phone police that he had a tumor. You know, he almost lost his life. Um, he had been in the hospital, he had surgery, blah blah blah. So I started feeling sorry for the man. Mind you. That still don't have shit to do with you being on our property. But I did give him a little grace. Fun Fleece was still on 10. I was like, well, just in case. Because automatically we think he lied. Because y'all seen the, the story time I already did. Where they lied about his wife. Call herself approaching Alexa. And they gonna lie and talk about she was talking to the cows. That's why she was out of the car. Because she was talking to the cows. And that's not the only thing we didn't caught his ass in a lie about. But he will lie. So, some police was like, man, I think he just trying to get us to feel sorry for him. You know, I don't think nothing wrong with him. But I'm like, but just in case, just in case something is wrong with him, I'm not trying to block our blessings, you know, by being a complete asshole knowing this man, you know, is sick and... Then, then had surgery for a tumor or whatever. So he was telling the phone police that he had to walk with a cane because if he don't walk with a cane, he'd look like he drunk, blah, blah, blah. Y'all, I have never seen this man walk with a cane. The first time I've seen this man walk with a cane was today. This man be outside walking his dog. He be out there because my kitchen literally faces their driveway. So when, if I'm in the kitchen, I can't... That's I, him. I got the Y'all, our other neighbor got a warrant out for his arrest because he be beating on the women that he be with and he be locking them in, in the bathroom and stuff. The lady had to kick the window. Child, it's a whole lot of drama going out, going on in that little neighborhood. Y'all know it ain't no black neighborhood. Baby, these folks out here be having the different type of drama. But that's a different story. I, I, I have to give y'all an update on that another time. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, so this man... I, I can see they driveway from my kitchen. So anytime I'm in the kitchen, I can't help but to see he never walks with a cane. He be getting in. Then he told the phone police he couldn't drive. He literally was driving. I kept seeing him pull up in either his Corvette or his truck. I'm like, the man is driving. I, I, I see him driving every day. So since today he had to meet with the phone police. To, to, you know, to finally come up with what, what they gonna do about him being on our property. This man came out the house with a cane and was walking with that bitch too, like limping with it. I see this man damn near every day and he do not walk with a cane and he don't walk with a limp. It's crazy. It's crazy. So apparently he didn't got mad and he didn't cuss at the fun please. What'd he say to you, baby? He not doing a fucking thing. <laughs> And if, if he want, if I want to see a prick, he'll show me a fucking prick. A prick. And I'm trying to make his life a living hell. Uh, and fuck me. I fuck, oh. fuck you, bitch. <laughs> he better be lucky, goddammit. He had that fucking cane. And I ain't want to slap him in his motherfucking mouth. Playing and shit. Thinking that he privileged to something. That he can just do what the fuck he wants. Oh, my God. I'm about Bring it on, <laughs> motherfucker. You got a cane. Talking about bring it on. I'll fuck your ass up. Fucking that shit. He got me on 10. Yeah, the fun police been on 10 for the last hour now, baby. I can't get the fun police to calm down. Every time I, I say something to him, the fun police can't concentrate on shit else. I, I'm trying to ask fun police. I'm like, my shoes is cute. These kind of dope, ain't they? He couldn't even give me an answer. He said, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm just still fired up. I just want him to tell me my shoes look nice. But he said, you know, if we want to be, if, if we want to be a prick, He'd be a bigger prick. The problem is, here's the here's the problem. He ain't even seen prick yet. Like we've been very cordial, friendly, no, cordial, yes, we've been very cordial. So I haven't even brought the real bitch out yet. 
So, but if if that's if that's the road that he wants to go down, then by all means, let him go down that road. Who are we to tell him not to be a prick? I need to look up and see what a prick is. A prick. The fuck? We don't we don't use those type of words. You want to be a prick? Yeah, I heard the commotion. I was trying to brush my teeth. I heard the commotion. I'm trying to hear him run to the door to see what was going on. And by the time I made it to the door, the phone police was turning around saying, fuck you. <laughs> like, God damn it, what happened? It was a good thing I ain't go out there. We probably would have We probably would have jumped him if I was out there. Yeah, it's as uh, Because you know. He'd be on the ground trying to figure out whether he, he really be drunk, motherfucker. <laughs> playing and shit. Well, just thinking that he can do what he want to. Yeah. He can't nobody do, do nothing, nothing about to him. him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the part that's pissing me off. But I, he, he got the right one. Shit, they ain't never stopped making rental equipment. I jackhammer all that motherfucker shit up. And he, he told the fun police said he told him I I uh what you say I bust all this shit up. What he say? All that motherfucking concrete. Not gonna happen. <laughs> motherfucker. No, you're not. Uh, not gonna happen. Motherfucker, I'll jack him all this motherfucking shit up. <laughs> ain't shit you gonna do, Bob. <sighs> oh gosh. Come out there with your motherfucking cane talking shit. That's all you gonna do. Why well, I'm studying jackhammering the shit out of that motherfucker. <sighs> The shit that we have to deal with. Playing. We Just never. Playing. He we, playing. He playing with people. That's what he's doing. I done gave his ass enough time to get this shit figured out. But what he think is he don't have to figure it out. Cause right. He, he privileged. Yeah. That's what he think. But he got the right one now. Yeah. Uh, they they better they he better hope my truck can't pull the fucking goddamn <laughs> bobcat. They better he better hope when I pull up to that motherfucker they say. You can't pull that bobcat with that little bitty truck. Uh, a bobcat, babe. So you trying to get a kind of, bobcat? I'm gonna I'm I'm get that bobcat and I'm gonna I'm pick all that motherfucking. Oh, after I jackhammer that shit up, I'm gonna put that shit in the and, and scoop that shit right on up. Playing, he playing. That's what he's doing. So, needless to say, we are pulling up at the Lowe's because he getting ready to put some poles in his driveway so that they can't park on the part that is in our. Uh, on our property and we made a call to our attorney and she's gonna get right on it it looks like we're gonna have to handle this in court we was trying to you know handle it out of court thought he was gonna be a good neighbor as he say when we initially try to communicate with him about um, him being on the property that he was just he wanted to be a good neighbor but he knows his rights that's what he has said so I don't know why I thought he was gonna be a good neighbor because you just saying I know my rights that just screamed privilege because how how do you know your rights for putting your shit on somebody else's damn land so anyway that is what we're doing today we just pulled up to the um, Lowe's. You said you getting conduit? I don't even know what conduit. Yeah, I don't even, conduit. I don't, I don't, I don't know what that is. Shit. Huh? So. Alright y'all. I'll be back. <laughs> we been back from the store y'all. <laughs> um, we went and got something to eat and everything else. It is currently like 2. No. Why am I saying 2? Like, where the hell did I get to? It's to nothing. It is like 10 o'clock here or 10.30. Um, I am folding laundry. Y'all have not folded laundry in so long. It's actually embarrassing. So I'm not gonna tell y'all the exact time that it's been since I folded clothes, but I am getting up early in the morning, seven to be exact, so that I can take Lexi to the gym. Um, so she can get a workout in before she goes to school. She has a late start tomorrow, so that's why um, we're gonna try to do a, a early morning workout. And then I am gonna leave out to go to Kentucky um, to go see Aaliyah. There's a few things that I need to take care of down in Kentucky. Um, so I'm gonna go to bed here in a second. I'm gonna fold up this last basket of clothes and then i'm gonna call it a night so that i can get um some rest before waking up in the morning and making the five and a half hour drive to kentucky so i wanted to come and close this video out because sometimes i be forgetting to close out my videos and it just like stop yeah i'm trying to stop doing that 
um so yeah so basically i came back to let you guys know that this is the end of the video make sure you check back next week for more weekly or daily vlogs uh i'm still trying to figure out what type of vlogs i'm bringing y'all still just trying to you know just testing the water seeing what works and what don't work um if you have missed the last couple of vlogs make sure you go back and check those out so you can see what's been going on with your girl and the fam and as always until next time